Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, we have a video here from Lynx Defense. I'm going to go over their custom pistol bag and then their Concord, which is their big boy. Now, just so you know, this one's actually empty. I've moved everything over, but I just want to show you the size of the custom pistol bag in case you decide to get one. Now, this one, you can order the regular one or their custom where you can pick, you know, the colors, the trim, the interior colors, all that good stuff. But I just kind of want to go over quick dimensions. I've been using this one for, gosh, two years now. I've even got a, a older review on it if you want to check it out. But as you can see, you know, a little dusty, a little dirty, you know, no big deal, but it's been used a lot. So let's go ahead and go over the dimensions here real quick. You know, total length. Uh, from pocket to pocket, it's about, uh, it's about 16 inches. Now height. I'm getting about probably eight and a half. I'm giving rough dimensions. Width is probably about ten and a half. And um, you know when it's really full, of course, you can get it to uh, pooch out a little bit. Features of this one, of course, it does have the regular handle, the handle holder. Let me show you here real quick. You know this actually goes inside of that. It's got a really nice padded uh, arm sling. Uh, to carry it up on your arm. And the inside on the custom, when you pick the color, I picked orange and black. I'll show you here. Got some goodies in here, but it's orange. I did take the dividers out because on this one, I really didn't use the dividers that much. I kind of just loaded everything in here. Uh, and also this one has a rollout pocket on the side. Show you here. If you need a mat, you know, like a cleaning mat or a bench mat, and I chose orange. So there's that. So, and it is the Kodora fabric, so really nice fabric. Heavy, heavy duty. Like I said, over a year, everything is made in the US. So it's got all the good stuff on it. All right, now here's the big boy. This one's gonna take two hands. Ugh, and we'll go over everything that's in it. <laughs> there's the monster. So that's the Concord. Kind of show you here a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from the bench. But it does have the same really nice shoulder pad, super padded. I've got this one really loaded up. But it does have, you know, the pad like we said there. Now let me go and give you measurements on this in case you're curious, because this one is quite a bit bigger. I call the other one like the regular range bag, and I know this one's called the Concord, but I call it the XXL or the Jumbo because it is a big, big boy. But from end to end, you're looking at about 21 inches loaded height. You are looking at about 10 inches width because it is loaded on the sides. I've got about 14 inches worth of goodies in here. So what all do I have in here? Now one thing you can do, you can use these little mag pouches, you know, if you choose to do that. Load your mags in there. But like at this end, I'll kind of show you. Try to get this here. I've got some pistol lights and I keep them in these little, what are they called here? Ripoffs. So that is a TLR1. Here is a Surefire and it's in another ripoff. So you just pop these things up and they come out. I've got this little Vertex thing. I've got, uh, I've got the, uh, Gosh, what are they called? Uh, post-it notes that I actually do shoot. I'll shoot post-it notes sometimes because it gives me a smaller target. Got some tape in there, all that kind of good stuff. So that's what's in that pocket. Just keeps it really nicely organized for me. You know, I can uh, load them up and they're good to go. So let's zip this up. I mean, if you're wanting to carry really everything in the kitchen sink, I would highly recommend the Concord. Now here's one thing that I'm known for, paper plates. Everybody asks why I haven't been shooting paper plates. Now I've got the paper plates loaded in there, so these make great targets. If you need a paper or need a target, instant target right there. I've got some of the shooting C's in here. I've got some uh, of these little pistol drills. You can just print these off. You know, the Gorilla Approach pistol drills got those on a PDF so I can just print them off. 
uh, a bag to hold all my uh, range brass. And this is a really nice woven pocket or kind of like a mesh pocket, if you can see it very good. And it's really huge. So like if any dust or anything gets in there, it just allows it to fall out and you can just brush it off. There is a pocket here, kind of show you here. I've got some gloves in there, extra set of grips, some small ear pro in there. Um, and that's about it for that. So let me tighten you up here. Sorry about that. All right. So there's that. And that's just a really nice pocket. Now on this one, it does not have the uh, mat, like the shooting mat on the orange one that you could roll out. It does not have that. But again, it's not, an, it's not a necessity that you have to have it. Here's a huge pocket. Now here's another pocket on the outside of this pocket. Honestly, I don't have anything. Oh, actually I do. I prefer the cat tourniquets. This is an emergency tourniquet and it is a rat's. I had it, it's just cheap. I don't honestly trust these, but I've got it in here just in case to have something in there. So there's that. That allows quick access to it. Inside here, I've got some shooting glasses. I keep my ear pro in here. Uh, however, I've got it inside here just to show how much it can hold but I usually keep my ear pro in here. There's a set of Oakley's in there. If you want to see their M frame. So there's those. All right, move this out a little bit so you can see it a little better. Here's the other side pocket. All right, what do I have in here? <laughs> All kinds of goodies. I've got the little remove before flight, you know, your little uh, your little uh, deal uh, chamber flag. So I've got one in there. I've got some pasters in there. Got a little tool kit in here. It is a uh, Maxpedition, you know, zipper. It's got all kinds of tools. Since I run red dots and stuff, you know, I've got Loctite, I've got screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, Allen keys, um, little cutters, a knife, all kinds of stuff in there. So there's that. Over here, I've got, uh, this is a little cleaning kit for your uh, dot. It's a little vacuum sucker thing that blows dust off and then a lens cleaner for the red dots. Got some lube in here. I've got some extra batteries, the 2032s for my red dots. So I've got those in there. I've got a flashlight. I've got screwdrivers, picks, a little hand, uh, ready man card. There's some CR123 batteries in here. Like I think six batteries down in there. Um, there's an Allen key set right there. I mean, there's just all kinds of tools and stuff in here. So this allows you to really load up and kind of when you go to the range, you don't need anything with this bag. Oh, drop that out. Need to put that back in here. That's the good thing about this right here. It just caught that little thing and didn't let it fall on the ground or anything. So that's good. That did its job. Saved me a bit from losing it. There's that. I think we did this end one. I think I started with this one. Yep, that's the lights. All right, now inside, what's inside this bad boy? This is a removable strap for your shoulders if you choose to remove it. Let's move this back a little bit. Sorry, trying to do this the best I can, guys. This bag is huge. Um, I really love it, but it's a big boy. Inside here. All right, it does have the quick pull. Now what I've done is just put my double alpha. This is an extra little cover for my race belt in case I lose the first one. I've got an extra one. So it allows you to rip it like that, then pull it, open this up. Got a little tripod, little miniature tripod. Got the little phone holder. There's that. All right, inside here, got a timer. This is a little timer and a quick bag. This is my pack, or pack timer, I'm sorry. A little pack timer there. Just in a little zipper bag. Tons of mags. This is a whole ton of mags. There's P10 mags, Glock mags, FN mags, Shadow 2 mags. There's probably like 12 or 13 mags in there. One thing I do keep in there, just a little silica gel bag just in case you know moisture the bags these are little holders and they're actually made for like drills and stuff but got them at the Home Depot 
I always have people ask me where I get them. All right, this is the Shadow 2, and it is in the new Concord holder, or Concord holster from Harry's Holster. So there's that. It is optics ready. Got that. I just keep them in here so they don't bang around. All right. This one is the CZ P10C, or P10F. It is in the Harry's Holsters Concord and got the dot on it, all that good stuff. Another one of those little magazine bags. Um, he does not sell these. I actually got these separate. Here's the FN509, all apexed out. If you can see that, that's in there. So that's three whole, that's three pistols, and these do have the two dividers in here. I could put another pistol between the dividers, if you can see in there very good. Got my Ear Pro. Magalula is a must. Got a little orange thing on there, so I know it's mine. Ammo. I've got a box of ammo. I've got a bag of ammo. Then I've got uh, this big bad boy here. That'll hold 275 to 300 rounds of ammo. Uh, this 124 that's in there. So and that is, uh, I think it's running, running apparel bag. But there's all that. But that's it, man. If you need an awesome, awesome bag, man, get the uh, get the Concord. It's a huge, huge boy. I really like it. Now, of course, I love my custom bag with the black and the orange. Kind of sets me apart from others. Kind of wish the uh, Concord came in custom colors, and maybe it will eventually. Who knows if y'all want that? You know, ask links or leave a comment below if you want a large custom bag. Maybe he'll start doing that eventually down the road. But this thing is high, high quality. Very heavy duty. I have no issues carrying it at all. When you're putting your stuff in, even with the dividers, you can put stuff across the top here pretty easily. But that's it all loaded back up and I've wagged it around. I've already been to the range with it once and uh, it ran, it worked perfectly. But this thing is a big, big boy. I'll kind of show you, fade back a little bit, let you see it. I gave you the measurements earlier. It's quite a bit bigger. When you're comparing that one to the custom one, I'll try to move this one to the back to give you an idea. So I'll move that one back. And then here's this one. So we'll bring that to the front. Again, I don't have the dividers in it. I took them out. But you can see this thing is quite a bit bigger. Or the back, back one is quite a bit bigger than the front one. So... Sorry guys, this is the best I can do uh, with the bench situation right now, trying to get everything else squared away. But if you are in the market for a Lynx bag, definitely uh, definitely check them out. I will leave a link below. You can use my code, it's Big Johnson, capital B, capital J, all smashed together, and that'll save you 5% off any Lynx bag, which whenever, whichever one you choose. I will leave a picture also in the uh, for the thumbnail, and that'll kind of show you the difference uh, with them both loaded up. But uh, if you have any questions, leave it below. I appreciate you all as always. And remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.